Hello everyone, I have one quick unboxing for the day. I have many items that are coming up in the next few days or so. So, now this particular item, I did acquire one last month, but, well, I should have paid attention just a little bit more because I noticed there was one very important item missing and it was covering his eye. But this version here more than makes up for that one. Because this one does have the little glass eyepiece that's supposed to be there to uh, give the aesthetic of his bionic vision. And no, this is not a $6 million man. This, of course, is G.I. Joe's adventure team, Atomic Man, otherwise known as Mike Powers. Now, the only thing different from this one versus the other one is he's missing the part, a part of him. But that's okay, because now... I'll figure something out. But here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, and another thing too. This is coming from the Pacific Northwest. That is the western side of Washington State, where of course I'm from. And I live in eastern Washington, which is the other side. And not to get into politics, but let's just say that both sides have issues with one another. <laughs> but that's all right. Okay, this naturally is coming from Nancy T. Anderson from Lakewood, Washington. Thank you very much, Nancy, because now I got the proper one with the glass eye over his eye. So that's the big reason, and I cannot complain for what I paid for it, $3.50. Woo! I think so, but that's just me. <laughs> oh, look, there's tape. Uh -huh. Okay. You know me and tape. It's really a long story. That's a long story, me and tape. Um, this is going to be a great reoccurring thing throughout the year. <laughs> or the remainder of the year. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As you can tell, the one thing it's missing here is his leg. You know, not a big deal. And let's take a look at his arm. As you can see, his arm is really clear but it's um like the other one okay this is the thing that's um i actually know how to fix it but you'll find some that'll have like wobbly little hands it just won't you know they're all over the place um it's because this little the knobby part that's supposed to twirl around is off the little thing and so it has to be put back on there in order for it to uh him handle his uh helicopter blade and uh, I can tell you about this right now. Oh, shit. I just did it. <laughs> These are his original hands. And I just broke his fingers. But you know what? They make replacement ones. So, because they get really dry and brittle. And of course, there goes the rest of it. But you get the idea. When you're always acquiring uh, older GI Joes, unfortunately, their hands have become brittle. So, this is definitely a project. I will fix that part. And like a, here it is. You look right there see that right there that little prism that little there's like a little glass there that's supposed to be there because I'll show you here in just a second I'll get a flashlight and I'll showcase what it does okay now the prism that's in his eye watch this first you got to find the hole which is above his head it's like that little area right there see right there now watch this Nope, not in the camera. Okay, there you go. See if we can get that. There you go. See that? That's the prism. It's and it's in his eye. I'm doing it right on top of his eye. See, that was cool. That was the thing that made the, the Atomic Man feature. That was kind of his bionic eye. So when you put a light on source on it, it would show through it. So there you go. Look at that. That is so cool. All right. Just wanted to show that real quick. So yeah. This is one where I'm going to have to fix uh, the arm. I'll have to pop it in there and out. And the replacement hands are so easy to get. But, uh, you know, here's the... This is what's left of the other arm. You can tell, you know, it's like... It's hard plastic. So, and they make these replacement arms. There are all kinds of them. But he, he's really cool. And um, the nice part I like about him, unlike the other one, he was restrung. So he's a little bit snappier. So, you know, he... 
He has great articulation. His uh, head needs to be pushed down a little bit. And um, got to get the legs right. There you go. See? That is so cool. All right. Because this is metal. Unlike um, your typical G.I. Joe figures, the, uh, this part here was made of plastic. But for Mike Powers, Atomic Man, it was made of metal. That is, I think it's metal. It's cold like that, yeah. But yeah, there we go. As my replacement, Mike Powers, with the crystal eyes still present. Woo! Three dollars and fifty cents. Can't complain. Too bad about the hands, but it is what it is. Bye, everyone. I got more coming up in the next few days. So tune in.